STS Ron Cohn, AdenComputers.com, Outro Video Parity. Oi. I have before me a Hewlett Packard 15AC121DX. And I'm going to show you how to remove the hard drive. So all you need is a Phillips screwdriver. You might want to have a just a a mechanical. I'm getting interrupted. It's Thanksgiving, and there's somebody in this fucking building, and they're loud. A magnetic Phillips screwdriver. So just flip over the Hewlett Packard 15 AC 121 DX, like so, and you need to take out the battery. So there's a release. Although on this laptop computer, one of the releases was broken, but it's not my computer, it's a customer's. Then there are two screws underneath the battery that you need to take out. They are smaller. I don't know what... This is unbelievable. I came in on a Thanksgiving because I thought I could get away from these noisy people but I don't know what it is man I don't know what it is oh you know what I need to turn on my fan my fan drowns out a lot of th those types of noises okay so those two screws are removed then there's some additional screws, two in the middle. There's just two different sizes of screws on the Hewlett Packard 15AC121DX. Notebook, computer. So there's one, two, four, seven, ten total screws you have to take out. What you can do is you can loosen them all up if you want, and then when you think they're all loose, you can flip over the cover or just flip over the laptop, and they will all fall out. I don't celebrate Thanksgiving. No, thank you. Utter waste of my time. I don't celebrate holidays. I boycott all American holidays. I'm being serious. I do not celebrate Christmas. I do not celebrate Thanksgiving. Now, you, New Year's is a little bit different. If somebody invited me, I might go hang out, but I don't celebrate New Year's either. I don't celebrate Memorial Day. I don't celebrate July 4th. None of that crap. All right. I'm not a nationalist. I think they all fell out except for two that aren't quite loose. That one will come out real easy. Then next what you want to do once you get this once I get the last screw out there's a DVD optical drive in this one and you just one of the screws held it in place you just pull it out and set that aside now the cover is going to come off there's two additional screws that are hidden underneath these little rubber feet and you just peel it off set it aside and there's a screw there And that screw, the, see all the screws are the same size except for two. So you only have to worry about two different sizes of screws. And then there's this other rubber foot. And that one will just pull right off. And there's a screw underneath there. 
And we'll take that guy out. And let's see, we'll set it aside there. And then the cover will come right off. You can just lay it, leave it on its place and the cover should come right off. And then there you go. Now there's different ways you can take off the cover. You could have flipped it on its side, opened it up like this, and then, you know, then took a took a guitar pick or used your hands, but I figured out leaving it laying face down and then pulling up and it came right off. So there's the cover. And I'll just set that aside behind me. And here's the hard drive. There's also the memory but I'm going to make a separate video showing you how to remove the memory. But for now, we're just going to worry about the hard drive, which is right here in the middle. There's two screws that you have to loosen. They're smaller, so this laptop Let's see, I might have to get a different screwdriver because yeah, I don't want to strip them out. Let me get another screwdriver. So you might need two screwdrivers if you notice. They're both Phillips and one is wider than the other. So I'm going to use this one to get out these two screws because they are a little bit smaller and I don't want to strip the screws. They only take, they only require a couple of turns to loosen and tighten and they are already out and then the hard drive is connected to a cable you can just lift just pull up and you notice there's this little circuit board you just pull and the adapter comes right off and there's the hard drive that's all you have to do now if you're replacing the hard drive you're going to need this metal piece here. It's got two screws. And then you would just, you know, place this bracket on the new hard drive. And then you would place it this way. Actually, it's the opposite. You would place it like that on the right hand side with the SATA connectors, the power and the SATA connector facing towards you. And then you would just place it back down. We can just reverse engineer it. We'll just act as if um, I've replaced the hard drive with a new one or a replacement or whatever. And then that just snaps back on. It's real easy to come off. And then that just lies back down. And then you just replace the two screws. And I will do that in this video because I have to make another video showing you how to take out the RAM but I make separate videos because I know you people get annoyed you're, you're easily offended you're easily offended you're hypersensitive There's the last one. They're really small, very tiny. They strip easy. So you want to make sure you use the right type of Phillips. Boy, it is so small. And you, and you might want to use a magnetic screwdriver so that the screw doesn't fall off. And so it doesn't just fall in. There we go. Come on. There we go. Oh, come on. There we go. All right, so it, there we go. So that's it. That's how you take out reseat the hard drive or replace the hard drive in a Hewlett Packard 15 AC 121 DX and then obviously you would place the cover back on. I would recommend it might be the easiest just to 
leave the laptop like that, place the cover back down like that, push down a little bit, and you, you can hear the plastic snap. That's normal. And then you have 12 total screws. Don't, don't forget these two. Don't forget the, and don't forget the battery too. There's two small screws there for the battery, under the battery, and then these two that were hidden by the little foot pads. And they, they just, they press back on. And then the DVD. Just slide the DVD back in and bada boom, bada bing, adios.